Where are we going, baby? We're going to run the You got hurt, someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here, not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away just for one Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side
guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a day in the life vlog today is really exciting i'll let hayden tell you what we're doing where are we going baby we're going to a new school <laughs> she gets to go to her kindergarten assessment today like what the heck it's so bittersweet um i'm to be honest i'm more excited right now for her than like sad because i just know that she's excited to be with her friends again and I don't know I'm just excited and it's definitely gonna give us like more of a routine um and yeah I need to we need to leave in about um five minutes or so Everly is taking a nap right now we just got all ready like you saw that was kind of like our morning routine um but Everly is taking a nap right now I just got Hayden all ready um, it's super gloomy and rainy outside right now, so I need to go get, get her like a little raincoat to put on. Let's go grab that. Yep, these. Is it big on? Yep. Let's get a jacket. There you go, baby. Thank you. I can put it on it. You can put it on out there. Okay. Perfect. So cute. But her school is not far away from our house or anything so we're gonna leave in probably about five ten minutes i gotta get everly in the car seat and everything um she has to go there and i have to like drop her off there for two hours and she gets to like meet all the teachers gets to kind of interact and do like social skills and like testing and basically kindergarten assessment i don't know i'm sure you guys know what that means if not i'm learning for the first time too but comment down below if you know where it is she said comment down below if you know where it is. Um, I think she meant if you know what it is. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just figured I would vlog today because it's an exciting day for her and me. Um, she's so big, I can't believe it. But we're gonna go ahead and get started and go and give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you aren't already. We are making our way to 10,000 subscribers, which is insane. So I definitely will be doing a huge giveaway when I hit that. So hold on Hayden, no talking. <laughs> she keeps wanting to talk about everything. Um, so when I hit 10,000, I would definitely be doing a huge giveaway for all my subscribers, for all the support and love. Um, so give me 10K so I can do that huge giveaway. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we are on our way. I just had to turn around because I was going to the other school. <laughs> Good thing I left early, but um, it's not very far. I literally just drove like two minutes the wrong way. So I got to turn around and go the other way. <laughs> but Hayden was like, I was like, well, we're going to walk in together. She said, no, you can stay in your car and I will walk out and I will say bye to you. And I was like, you don't want me to walk with you? She said, no, no one will get me. Just lock the door. I was like, what? Why is she so independent? I don't understand. Are you excited, Hayden? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, just, I literally, I just. I just want to do like big girl. You want to be a big girl? Yeah. To walk on the road. Oh my gosh. And she like, I can drive her to school, but she's insisting on riding the bus. So not sure about that. I'm probably still going to be driving her to school because I can. Um, but she's like, she really wants to ride the bus to school. I'm like, how is she not like, I don't want to like say that, but you know, okay, track on the train to turn. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to be there in like a minute, so. Get on here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> All right, so I am back out here. I just, um, we ba basically they took the kids and we, uh, the parents, filled out a ton of paperwork, created accounts for them, um, you know, just all that, all that stuff, and paid their like fees. Um, so. Hayden still has like an hour 
left to be with them. So um, they said we could stay there or we could just go somewhere and come back. So I'm just going to go home real quick because I live literally like not far at all. Um, so yeah, because they, yeah, they'll be done in about an hour. So me and Everly, Everly's still sleeping. She was just sleeping in her car seat the whole time. So that, that was good. Um, but I'm going to go home, probably eat a little snack or something and come back and get my girl. I'm so excited to see how she, like her, this day was for her. Cause she, tons of her friends from preschool were there. They're going to be in kindergarten with her. And she was so excited. She was like giving them all hugs and stuff. It was cute because one of her friends was like, can I give her a hug? I was like, yes, you can give her a hug. It was so sweet. They were all so excited to see her. So I'm so excited for her. I feel like I was going to be like, you know, emotional or whatever, but it's hard to not be like just so, so excited for her because she's so excited. But maybe the first day of kindergarten I'll feel differently, but we'll see. <laughs> I need to scoot back. Well, I was trying to be able to see my hair so I don't look like a bald egg, but okay. Anyway, I figured I would sit down and chat with you guys for a little bit just since I have time and I only have the baby and she's asleep, so like who am I? I actually have time to sit down and talk. I was even thinking about doing like a sit down video in the meantime because I still haven't done my like Amazon baby favorites like haul and like newborn must haves all that. I'm sorry guys it's just literally impossible for me to do sit down videos with two kids so maybe when Hayden goes to kindergarten I will have a lot of my day more to be able to do sit down videos so we will see but I wanted to do a little um like weight loss update life update things like that um I'm burning up it's so hot in here um so weight loss update today was really frustrating for me honestly like I don't know I just felt super unmotivated because I first off if you don't know I'm like obsessed with the scale and so I made a really big goal of mine to like really try to wait the full week before weighing myself and all that. And last week I weighed in and my starting weight was 198. And um, last week I was 189.6 and um, I was pumped because I had lost like a, um, almost two pounds that week. And I, um, I was just doing really good. And like with breastfeeding and trying to figure out like I'm doing Weight Watchers if you don't know, but with like breastfeeding, trying to figure out like eating the right amount and breastfeeding, it's just like been like a mess. Not a mess, but it's just very like, it's not easy whatsoever. It's very hard. And I, so I weighed in at one, 189.6. So I was really pumped because that's 8.6 pounds lost, but I, that means I was under 190, which I was really excited about to be in the 180s again. Um, and I'd lost that much. So, and it's been seven weeks, so it's been a slow process, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. But <laughs> I weighed myself today and I was really excited to weigh myself. I almost weighed myself yesterday and the day before because I was like, I was so excited. I just wanted to see the scale. And, but I was like, Brittany, no, like my scale is right by my toilet, right? Um, because I've had such bad luck with scales and if I move them and stuff, they like uncalibrate and they mess up. And so I have to li literally leave it out in the open I cannot put it in like um people are like well just hide it so you don't see it like I can't hide it because literally I've bought th I've bought three scales in the last like six months it's ridiculous six months before I was pregnant um ridiculous but anyway <laughs> so it's right there right I see it every single morning when I get up to go into the bathroom and it's just really hard for me to like say no to step on the scale because I just want to see it um because it equally discourages me as encourages me um like when I see what I want to see I really encourages me I'm like I am it I am hurt <laughs> but like um I'm literally sweating why is it so hot in here oh my gosh um it was like pouring down rain out so that's why I have a uh, sweatshirt on so I guess that's probably why it's you know end of July and I'm wearing a, a hoodie that could be why anyway um so I was really excited to weigh in this morning because I did amazing all week. You know, I ate within my points, even a little bit less than my points because I'm like um, supplementing formula some, mainly breastfeeding. So like figuring out the points that I should have is kind of difficult. But I was like, I know I did great this week. Like I stuck, stuck on track. We didn't go out to eat or anything. 
and I cooked at home. I ate super healthy, drank a gallon of water every day. Like I was like, today's weigh-in is going to be like, like icing on the cake. Like, and I stepped on the scale this morning and guess what it said? I'm the same weight as I was last week. And honestly, I could have started crying because I was really upset because I was like, I freaking worked so hard to eat right and, you know, stay within my point value, drinking tons of water. Like, I feel like I'm literally trying so hard and I don't know if it's because I'm trying so hard that I'm like, it's just forcing me to be frustrated with the res results. But this week was just not a good week for me, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine. I just like, I woke up and I was like, I can't wait to jump on the scale. It was like literally like it was Christmas morning type of thing. I don't even know why, but I like stepped on the scale and it said the same thing that I was last week, which is like good. I didn't gain, but I also didn't lose anything. And you're supposed to gain, you're supposed to lose like, you know, a pound and a half to two pounds a week. So it was, it was a bummer. That's for sure. I definitely wanted to see like a lower 180 number and I didn't see that. I just saw 189.6, which is still good. Like, you know, I'm still down 8.6 pounds from the beginning but it's just such a slow process and it's very hard for me to like continue to grasp but this is going to take a while and I just have to be patient but I just figured I would share that with you guys I've been doing really good but then like when I see that it just makes me want to be like screw it and not even try to lose weight and just be like just freaking eat whatever I want eat all the good food and like not that I don't eat good food but you know what I mean like if I don't watch what I eat, I literally, I can walk by a plate of cake and gain five pounds type of thing. Like, that's just who I am. But, so, I don't know. It's just frustrating. And I want to share that with you guys. And, but, you know what? It's a new week. Hopefully, next week will be better. Like, I did, like, amazing. I, myself, did amazing. So, maybe, maybe in the next couple of days, it'll be lower. I don't know. And for you, for some of you guys are like, well, don't rely on the scale, like inches and stuff. Like, yes, I understand that. I have measured myself as well. Um, I haven't like measured myself now, but like before I have my measurements. So I do need to measure myself. I'm probably going to wait till it's like full two months just to like see what that is. Um, but I haven't been working out um, like the, in, in the last like week and a half or two weeks. I haven't like done anything. So it's not like muscle or anything. It's not like how you guys are like, well, muscle weighs more than fat. Like, well, I ain't got no more muscle than I had. So <laughs> I'm ranting, but yeah. And a lot of you guys wanted me to do, do like a whole sit down, like postpartum, um, like update and like health, like mental health and stuff. And honestly, I just don't feel like doing a whole video on it because I'm doing fine. Like, I don't, I mean, obviously, it would be good to put a video out there that was positive and saying, like, hey, I'm doing great, like, postpartum, I'm not having any issues, like, you know, you have those, I've had, like, you know, an hour in a day one time where I was, like, I am not getting anything done, this is so frustrating, but I don't know, I just have not had to suffer from that, and, you know, thank goodness I haven't, and I feel horrible for all the moms who have, um, you know, my heart goes out to you, but that is just not me, not the case for me. So that's why I don't really feel like I should do a whole sit-down video on it because I don't feel like I have much to say. I felt like if it was a negative experience, I would to kind of like, you know, share that with you guys. But as of now, I'm doing fine. So I'm not going to do a whole sit-down video on my postpartum like mental health or anything because I don't think there's really much to say other than I'm doing great and I'm doing good. So yeah, but... I don't even know what time it is. Um, I'm probably going to go get a snack and maybe edit this vlog a little bit just so I can get it up for tomorrow. And yeah, so that's my little update for you guys. Hi, Susie. Hi. What is it? Are you talking to mama? Say, I'm three months old today. I'm three months old today. What the heck? It's a big girl. Say, sissy girl is three months old, and Hayden is five, and just went to her first kindergarten day. She's eating the rest of her chicken nuggets. She's had a long day at school. <laughs> Are you sneezing? Why is he sneezing? He's a wee girl. He's a wee girl. Hey, did you have fun at your first day? Yeah. Did you love all your teachers? Yeah. They were so nice. That's good.
Mario. Look at this. Where'd you get that from? It's a robot. I'm just vlogging, so. So you know how earlier I was I uh, did the sit down portion and I talked about how I didn't see any weight loss this week. So you know what I go do? <laughs> if you know what that is, <laughs> Mexican restaurant. Picked up some Elro. So I got my healthy food here, but <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get some Elro. Maybe my body needs some a little like because I've been eating like the same foods this whole week. So I'm like, maybe my body just needed a little like um, kickstart, you know, switch it up a bit. So I picked up some food and we're going to go home. I'm starving. I'm ready to eat. So picked up that. Someone had a blowout. Young nasty. This is, was his quick um, diaper changing station. <laughs> Oop. Daddy broke it, huh? Huh, did daddy break it? No. shot of your butt, babe. Turn it sideways. <laughs> Zeke will not let Don play with Hayden. Trying to take a nice video and you just have to start your pants.